Today we slept in late and it felt so great, but I did get up and start working on the cabinet pulls. I was trying to get all of those finished up so that this project is out of the way and is one more thing checked off of our punch list. While I was working in the kitchen on the pulls, Mike was in his office. If you'll remember last week, he got it all trimmed out and we got that door put on that goes from his office to the utility closet. So he's in here painting today and getting this project finished up. Okay, so these are dining chairs. No, we don't technically have a dining table yet, but we do have a folding table that we've been using. And I love the look of these. My daughter has some, my friend has some. I see them here, there, and everywhere. I ordered these off of Amazon and I am super impressed with them. They're really easy to put together, super sturdy, and the perfect look for our modern farmhouse. Y'all wanna know something? World this, record. This is a world record. World record. We just walked out of Lowe's Empty-handed, no shopping basket, no bags, nothing. Nothing, honey. Nothing. <laughs> Write that one in your little book. Oh my wow, you guys. We had a lot of rain last night and it just kind of lulled us to sleep in fact, so that was really cool. But today I am gonna be just unboxing a few things and doing some decorating. But we've got some boxes out in our barn that my mom had packed away for us and I just came across our recipe books. So I'm sticking those all above the microwave because isn't that where everybody keeps theirs? I ran to Walmart this afternoon because I was in need of some Christmas decor for my front porch. It was looking a little blah and I was really sick and tired of those dead looking sedum plants. They'll come back next year, but we needed to jazz the place up for Christmas. So I got this wonderful box set, five piece set from Walmart and it's absolutely perfect. You may have seen my recent video, Come Decorate With Me. I showed decorating the inside and the outside. And so yeah, if you haven't seen that yet, I'd love for you to go back and check that video out. And now that it's all decorated, it's time for a little Christmas fun. Weston, look who's here. <gasps> Merry Christmas, Weston. How are Hi. you? Look who came to the farm to see you. We knew that Mike and Karen were doing the, the house and we've been following them. So we had to bring him a housewarming present. Weston wasn't quite sure what to think of Santa and Mrs. Claus, but overall he did really well. And it was so sweet of them to stop by and pay us a visit this year here at the farm. Here's just a quick look of the front porch decorated. You know, I probably will add a few more things. This was just done in such a hurry because I knew we were getting visitors today. All right, so it is a pretty chilly Wednesday morning and my studio is not yet unpacked or situated or organized or anything like that. Pretty much got the house set up except for and um, you know we're waiting on granite which happens tomorrow but you guys my creative juices are flowing and we need a dining table a sliding barn door and some nightstands and a headboard and i've told you all along that this is where i'm getting the wood from it's a old chicken coop kind of barn thing we're not exactly sure what they used to do here. Um, horses were involved, longhorns, cattle, different things. But this is the wood I'm gonna be using. So I'm coming out here today to finally check it out. We've had a lot of rain over the last couple of days. So, um, and I think more is probably expected. So I wanna get this wood off and at least get it into our 
barn so it can be drying out and stop getting wet. I have my rubber boots on. For those of you who are always concerned about what I'm gonna step on or find, thank you for that. Um, but I've got the rubber boots on and I know we discovered some poison ivy in here back in the summer. So Mike, when he comes out later, he's working in the office right now, but when he comes out later, we have to be really careful because that's where the poison ivy was. And you guys remember how allergic he was back in week two or three, we discovered major amounts of poison ivy here at the farm. But um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do now. There's a lot of great wood here, so this should be pretty fun. Okay, so I successfully removed four pieces. That wasn't too terribly hard. You can see that there's a lot of water damage at the ends of these. That won't really matter. I'm thinking that these smaller ones are gonna be perfect. Sorry about that. Thinking that these smaller ones are gonna be perfect for our nightstands. I have several more to take out right in there. This I am really trying to reserve for our dining table because day one when we spotted the farm I that's immediately where my mind went oh my goodness a dining table so again trying to reserve those for the dining table nightstands the longest ones will be our barn door that separates the living room from the spare room so I'm gonna bring you guys into here now to watch me remove these other two long ones that hopefully I can get down without having this whole building fall on me. Mike made his way out to help me and once he got out there we were really able to take out some of the bigger pieces and um, he was just a lot of help for me. It was so incredibly cold out, our ears were freezing, our hands were freezing and so we really didn't get anything done with the wood other than just getting the nails out and loading it up and putting it in the back of the truck. Look at all that amazingness. We made our way back inside where it was warm and started working a little bit on my studio, getting some of the cabinets set. Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday. And December 15th. The 15th. Do you know what that means? We've been waiting for, <laughs> for a long time, but 15 days specifically, specifically, specifically for today. Yep. Today is granite, granite day. So we're excited that they're coming and they've already done all the measurements. They've done everything that they're supposed to do ahead of time. And then now they just have to come install. And we're just excited because for the most part, all we did was clean off the counters and then we get to wait and watch. Yep. So Marble Elegance is who we used and I'll be showing you their process here in a little bit. I should be getting a phone call any minute now that they're on their way or maybe they're on their way. I told them I'd be here ready and waiting. So Pretty exciting day. And the exciting part too is that means when Stephen Gray comes tomorrow, he will put our sinks in and we don't have to brush our teeth in the bathtub. Well, all he has to do is like hook up all the connections. The sinks will already be in. Yeah, Marble oh. Elegance is oh, putting our sinks mind. in. He'll so, come up and put all he'll come and put on all of the connections. <laughs> yeah. So he's also going to connect our dishwasher and our ice maker 
water line. This is all good that. like that. He did yeah. all that plumbing stuff. So we're excited. Look who just pulled up. I know everyone has been anxiously awaiting this day as well as us, and it's just been so fun watching them work and bring things in and get it all set. Um, I literally feel like we are staying in a really nice Airbnb at this point. It's really still hard to believe that the bathroom is our bathroom. It's so beautiful, and adding the granite touches just really finishes off the look. I'm not certain I've ever told you this or not, but this color of granite is called Shadow Storm. It's actually a marble product. We kind of found that out late in the game, but we're calling it granite. <laughs> but we had this put in the last few flip houses that we've done. Um, our son, Hunter, and his wife, Zoe, purchased one of the flip houses. And when we worked on that house, we fell in love with it and we wanted so many of the same things in this house. And this is it. It's so beautiful. Oh, it just got really real. <laughs> I just turned around to Mike and said, I want to cry because it's so amazing. Wait a minute. What just happened? I literally just cried. Not even joking. Be happy. So... <laughs> You saw the granite come in, yeah. get installed, and then I showed you them carting a big piece out. Yeah, unfortunately, the piece that was going on the island cracked. In two places. So they're gonna take care of us. They do a great job. It's a great company, good people. Their installers were phenomenal, all of that good stuff. So technically, we had one, two, three, four, five pieces of granite. I mean, more than that, but the kitchen is big. Uh, five areas that needed to have granite on it, and four out of five, we got 80%. 80% is pretty good. It's a B minus. Uh, B minus is good. So anyway, we're just, we're thrilled to death that we have counter space, and uh, it, it is just part of the saga. I mean, it gives you something else to look forward to, to see the island put in place, and I all that fun stuff. Don't know when. <laughs> it will be here. It'll be good. I I'm showing you. No, we have a sink. There's a sink. Woo woo. No granite. We have granite back here. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't it's, that beautiful? it's got plastic over it, protecting it until the backsplash gets installed. But yeah, so I guess we'll just wait to hear from them on when we have new granite for the island. Did you see the bathroom? No, I'll go show them the bathroom. Laundry room and all that stuff. She's going to show you. It's going to be cool. All right, so here's the master countertop. Very pretty. And then I'll take you to the spare bathroom and laundry room. And here's the laundry room space. Got to do some touch-up paint over here in this corner. It was a little tight. And there's the little vanity. All right, so you guys saw what happened yesterday with the granite and broke. I was super sad, super bummed. I think more than anything, I'm just like dying for the house to be complete because Christmas is approaching. We're not going to Texas this year for Christmas to be with our family because Curry's due date <laughs> is so near Christmas that we're not risking being gone. Um, so that's super important for me to be here for that. And so I think I'm just more than anything wanting, I've got some stuff shifting around back there, wanting to be in the house and settled because Curry and Brayden are hopping in with us. They're moving in with us for a little while until their house is complete. You know, um, I'll be there with her with Greenlee while Braden works and all. So just a lot of things that need to happen still before they move in and baby Greenlee gets here. 
So anyways, on my way right now to pick up Rhonda and we're headed to Marble Elegance over in Claremore to pick out a new slab of granite for the island. Fingers crossed and big prayers that they have something that matches. I'll keep you posted. Okay, so we were able to find one that made me happy and um, I think that's all that really matters. Mike doesn't really care. He just wants me to be pleased and happy and I am. They're coming Tuesday to install it. And while I was out and about, I got a phone call that the very last cabinet is was here. So I went by and picked that up. I double checked it before getting it. No damages. So hopefully that is the last of the kitchen cabinet fiasco. Hey guys, it's the end of another week. Here we are, another Friday. Yeah, it's gone by quick with a few hiccups as you saw. The granite. Um, it is what it is. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, we just kind of expect setbacks. It just happens. And, and you know, I, I guess everyone would have a story if they were going through the same things that we're going through. And we just uh, just keep pressing on. And next week, hopefully, we'll have an island and we'll get to finish that all out. And it'll be wonderful and good. Backsplash is something we have to look forward to. Uh, mm -hmm. The wood that we got off of the barn out there. That's, you know, Ooh, I, we yeah. told you that that's going for a barn door a dining table, a headboard, and nightstands. I have all these plans and we're gonna make it work. Yeah. We gotta we make it gotta work. Get the right tools to, to make that wood that is ancient, old, and decrepit. Look beautiful. Look beautiful and these little Botox or whatever. <laughs> Something like that. I guess you could I, put, yeah. do that with wood. I don't know, but anyway, it'll look it'll look beautiful. Karen always does a great job on all that stuff. And I got moved in more and more into my office, and I think we got a door up, mm -hmm. and and uh, I think that was this week. Was that this week? It was. And wow. I got a little bit of my fast. yeah. I got a little bit of my studio unpacked. I didn't bother showing you all that because there's not a lot of room to video in there right now because there are so many crafting supplies in there. So. Um, Maybe next week I'll have it put away a little bit more and cleared out and you'll get to see that. I know a lot of my Tumblr followers are excited about that. I kind of think I've forgotten a lot and I have a lot to learn when I get back into it, but it'll be fun, a whole nother ball game. We're also getting close to Curry and Brayden's due date. Mm -hmm. They're due on the 31st, so that's inching closer and closer and they're gonna be moving in with us for a while, mm -hmm. so. Yep, and their house is, uh, I think next week, oh, you'll get yeah. to see quite a few things happening out there. And uh, so that's that's good news and something to look forward to. We have a lot of things to still look forward to. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm pretty fired up about all the, the things that were gonna happen to really close things out. Steven did a great job today. We're gonna use five gallon buckets. That's a whole nother story. Oh, I don't story. even think I mentioned that. Steven Gray, our friend that um, hooks up things for us, came and did our faucets, but we didn't have pop-up drains. So that's what he's referring mm -hmm. to the five gallon buckets about. So we got the water, yeah, we've got, you know. Sinks. We've got the sinks in place and we've got faucets. the faucet in place. We just don't have a drain. So we just <laughs> put five gallon buckets under there. So we'll, we'll go back for, old fashioned days, old fashioned days. We'll yeah. just go dump it out somewhere later on. I'll, I'll water the grass. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, 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 subscribe. I don't know where they are. Over Comment. Here. I don't know Might where they are. There, Comment. Let us hear from you. Ask us questions. I can now answer. I told you that. Got internet last week. Um, and share. Please share our vlog the Flipping the Farm playlist. And um, it's always gonna be up on the screen at the end and much appreciated if you would just click that share button on the vlog playlist. Absolutely. Have a great week. You guys, yeah, have a blessed week. Here's that Flipping the Farm playlist that I was talking about. You guys, if you have not gone back to vlog one, two, three, four, five, I encourage you to do so. You will not believe the changes that we've made here at this place. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to share.